Thank you for joining us for another Page Rage tutorial. Today we're going to make a layout for the upcoming film, Eclipse, which is part of the Twilight series. The first thing we're going to do is search in Google Images for some images. We're going to type in here, Twilight Eclipse. For those of you who are familiar with making layouts with PageRage, you'll know more or less what sizes you need to look for. Something that's the uh, size of a wallpaper would be nice. And once you find images you like, you can do one of two things. You can save them to your desktop, which is nice because you can also edit the images if you have any tools to edit images. Or you can just open them up and go get the URL when we're ready to put the images on our layout. Once you've found all the images that you're looking for, go to pagerage.com, click on the Create Your Own Layout banner, and get started. Just make sure that you do have the plugin already installed as well. So what we're going to do is set all of our colors to black here. And then we're going to, so this is for everything um, in the background. So actually the actual background, your title bars here, and your curtains. And then we're going to start with our title bar. So you'll notice when you first upload the title bar, the title bar does not fill up this entire 75 by 1018 pixel area. So it'll automatically put your image right in this area here. You can tile it across if you want, so you just hit Tile X to do that. Or you can move the image, which is what we want to do. Now, if your image was too big for the area, you could reduce the image size with this little button here. And um, if you needed to enlarge it again, you could hit this button here. But ours actually fits really nicely, so we're just going to go ahead and start loading the rest of our images. Um, right curtain. Let's say we wanted to put this image in our right curtain. We'd go back, copy the URL, and paste it in this area here. Now you'll notice it says 400 by 1200, which is the size of this curtain area. And the image is too big for this curtain area. So what's nice is you can drag it around, and you can shrink it so you, until you get the portion of the image that you want. Now this tool will allow you to shrink the image until it entirely fits into the curtain area. If you've gone too far, you can enlarge it again, but you cannot make the image any bigger than it originally was. So we have a couple of images that we've already made for this layout. We're just going to go ahead and upload those. And then um, if you wanted to add a fade on either one of these, you could, but we're just going to leave them as is. Next is our text color. These are any of the colors you can choose. We're just going to go with a nice vibrant red. Hit next. And then we're going to name our layout. So once you're all done, you can hit save and publish. And the page rate tool will go ahead and make your layout and publish it to your Facebook profile. If you would actually like to get this particular layout, you can go to dailyfacebooklayouts.com and click on the actual image of the layout and it'll install it on your Facebook profile for you. Just make sure you do have the Page Rage plugin already installed. Now, as you can see, we have a version featuring the Jacob character and a version featuring the Edward character for all of those who have taken a side. And that wraps it up. Thank you for joining us for another Page Rage tutorial, and check back for future layouts from Page Rage.